Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at trying to differentiate 3 root x take away root y equals 4, an implicit equation, and we want to find the equation of a tangent when x is equal to 4. So as I said, we're going to need to differentiate it first. So, first of all, I'm going to rewrite this in a form that's going to be more easy to work with. 3x to the half take away y to the half is equal to 4. Now we can differentiate it with respect to x. So we can bring the half down, so we've got 3 halves x to the minus a half. Take away 1 half y to the minus a half, but when we differentiate y with respect to x, we have a dy by dx that appears on the right hand side. The 4 will differentiate to 0. So now I'm going to need to rearrange this to get dy by dx is equal to. So. What I'm going to do here is multiply through by 2 first, I think. Gets rid of that half. And put this onto the right-hand side of the equation. So get y to the minus a half dy by dx. So then if I divide through by y to the minus a half, I have dy by dx is equal to 3x to the minus a half over y to the minus a half. So this is my first derivative, dy by dx, which I can now use to find the gradient of the tangent. Now I know that I'm looking at the point when x equals 4, but I need the y value as well. So I'm going to need to substitute x equals 4 into my original equation to get a value of y. So putting 4 into this, I have 3 lots of root 4, which is 2 take away root y is equal to 4. So I have 6 take away root y equals 4. So that means that the root y is equal to 2. So y must be equal to 4. So the actual coordinates of the point on the curve is 4, 4. So if I substitute that coordinate into my gradient function, it will tell me the gradient of the tangent line. So dy by dx evaluated at 4, 4 is equal to, best do this on a calculator, which is all the way over there. So we've got 3 times 4 to the minus a half over 4 to the minus a half. Now, 4 to the minus a halves cancel out. Turns out I didn't really need my calculator. So that's just 3. Okay, so that's the gradient of the tangent. So, the actual equation of the tangent line will look like this. Y is equal to 3x plus c. I just need to work out the value of the constant c. I know that the gradient... Uh, rather, the equation of the tangent goes through this coordinate. So I can substitute 4, 4 in. 3 lots of 4 is 12. So c is equal to minus 8. So that means the final equation of the tangent is y equals 3x minus 8. And that's how you can use implicit differentiation and uh, an original x-coordinate to find everything else that you need.